sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, and pakiclick na rin po ang notification bell para kikip po kayo sa aking mga bagong video. Please watch this video. Doon sa Davao, last June 28, 2016, Hindi, uh, yes or no? Nagkita-kita po kami, Mr. Chair. Meron eh, pong naalala ko na nagkita-kita kami. Kung nagkita-kita kayo, nag-meeting po ba kayo? Yun ang tanong ko eh. Pakisagot lang po ng yes or no. Uh, no, Mr. Chair. You did not meet with your classmates? Mr. Chair, hindi po kami nag-meeting. Nagkita-kita nag lang kayo? Opo. Uh, ang uh, ibig ko sabihin, Yung mga Mr. classmates Chair, yung... mo, galing sa iba't ibang lugar, nagkita-kita kayo doon. Na, yeah. Apo, nagkita-kita po kami. Answer. Tama? Nagkita-kita nagkita yes. po kami, Mr. Chair. Umiiwas ka kaagad, Iho, eh. <laughs> Paras lang tayong galing sa CIDG. Di ba? Pero ako naging hepe, ikaw hindi. Yes. Colonel Garma, would that be true also that you met with your classmates, members of Class 97, mm -hmm. yes, in Davao Mr. City on yes. June 28, 2016? I'm not sure of the date, Mr. Chair, but there was a meeting. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, there was a meeting. Okay, I'm just establishing the fact. Yun ang sagot ninyo. You're not very sure. Kasi I'm sure. Sigurado ako. Kasi we have witnesses. Tatanuin ko ba ito kung hindi ko alam? You're under oath. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, you met. Yes, Mr. I said yes, Mr. Chair. May sinundo ka pa nga sa airport eh. Di ba? I'm just refreshing your memory. Correct? So, you met before July 1 of 2016 when President Former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte took officially office. Now, Mr. Chair, may I move that we direct the Director General of PDEA to come up with a study kung saan nagsimula talaga yung drug list? Kasi ang report po eh, kwan eh, merong una, original, may my second at saka my third. May I move, Mr. Chair, that we direct the uh, Director General of PDEA to conduct an investigation kung saan nagsimula, ano yung nasa listahan, and where did it originate? So move, Mr. Chair. Second. Okay, there is a motion uh, as stated and duly seconded. Second. Are there any objections? No objections? The motion is carried. Uh, DG Lasso, you are directed to uh, comply with the request of uh, Congressman Akop uh, with, re with regards to the list uh, of uh, the first, the second, and the third, third list. There, uh, according to reports, Mr. Chair, there are three lists. The original, the first, and a commendation of the first and second. Yes, Your, uh, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, may I ask Director Gerald uh, Lasso, what, what do you understand by the phrase or the statement, there is always a time for reckoning? Uh, Your Honor, uh, it means uh, hindi parating fiesta. <laughs> hindi parating nakahilata. Sometimes, dada pa ka rin. Hindi palaging sarap, may hirap din. Thank yes, you. Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <laughs> uh, karamihan po sa tanong kanina ay tungkol sa kung gano'n po kalapit si Colonel Leonardo at si Colonel Garma doon sa ating former president, uh, President uh, Duterte. May no kung sino po ang pinaka-senior na 
police officer present this after, this evening. Oh, tama, this evening na pala. Meno, who is the most senior officer? Please identify yourself. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. I'm uh, Police Brigadier General Noel Sandoval from the DADM. Anong class ka sa PNP? 94, sir. 1994. 94. Okay. Yes, and you have been in the service for a long time? 32 years, sir. 32 years. And you were on... What was your rank during the time of the former president? 26, I think... That's uh, 2016 to 2022. Police, uh, police colonel, na, sir. Police colonel. Yes, sir. Nung panahon na yun, ano sa palagay mo o sino sa palagay mo ang tatlong official na pinakamalakas kay former President Duterte? Uh, I have no idea, sir. You do not have an opinion? At all? General, did you take your oath? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm just reminding you. Uh, I, I am not. Uh, I am not really into that kind of. Ano, kasi sir, uh, since uh, 2012 assignment. I'm not. I'm not asking whether you're in that practice. I'm just asking, what is your opinion? Sino ang tatlong opisyal? na pinakalakas, pinaka, ng PNP na pinakamalakas kay former President Duterte. Alam uh, naman lahat na ng mga opisyal eh. Ako naman, no? Yes, sir. Uh, the chief PNP, sir. Who? Sino uh, ang chief PNP? Chief PNP Batu, sir. Because he was uh, appointed by the President. And probably, sir, yung command group niya. The... Uh, Kuman group niya. Yes, sir. Magkikita pa rin tayo. You're not answering me correctly. Kasi yung answer mo officially siguro because of their position. Pero ang tinatanong ko, yung opinion mo. Yes, sir. And that is my opinion, sir. That is your opinion. So be it. Uh, yeah, uh, Colonel Leonardo, were you the one who introduced Colonel Garma to then President Duterte? No, no, Mr. Chair. No. No. Sigurado ka doon? Yes, Mr. Chair. Sino ang mas malakas sa inyo ni General uh, De La Rosa kay President, former President Duterte? Kasi ito yung mga tanong na indirectly tinatanong ng aking mga kasamahan eh. Ako na lang magtatanong na diretso. Definitely, Mr. Chair, uh, mas malakas po si Sir Bato, uh, Mr. Chair. Senator Bato, Mr. Chair. Kasi, napilit kanya na mag-retire early. I do not, be, uh, I believe otherwise, Colonel. You know why? Narinig ko na minsan yung sinabi ni Bato meron pang isang opisyal na mas malapit sa tainga ni former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Hindi mo ba narinig yun? Hindi, hindi ko po okay. narinig, Mr. Chair. Huwag kang gumiti sa akin. Ano naman, Iyo? Tagutin mo yung tanong ko. Kasi totoo naman sinabi yun eh. Di ba? Uh, possibly, Mr. Chair. Abi ka pardon? Uh, possibly po. Uh, hindi ko po uh, narinig na sinabi ni uh, ayaw mong, Senator ayaw Bato, Mr. Chair. Ayaw mong magsinungaling ng todo-todo, ha? Kasi sinabi talaga ni Senator Bato yun. There is somebody in the PNP who's, uh, who is nearer the ears of the President. Hindi nga siya nagbanggit ng pangalan, pero merong alingas-ngas kung sino yun. Now, Madam Garma, you have always denied na close ka sa presidente. 
Pero there had been reports na ikaw ay nakakadiretso doon sa Malacanang. Basta dumaan ka kay Senator Bongo. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. So, ang tanong ngayon, ang karamihan sa aking mga kasama kanina, eh sino po ang mas malakas kay Presidente sa inyong tatlo? Si Se uh, Senator De La Rosa, Colonel Leonardo, or Colonel Garma? Siguro yung mga tao na present ngayon, nanonood, kayo na po ang bahala mag-determine kung sino po ang mas malakas. Kasi sa akin, meron po akong sariling panukala o pag-iisip kung sino. Now, may I request uh, jail, jail Captain Poro? Poro? <coughs> yeah. The third in command of the Davao Penal Colony. And uh, the one in charge of the Bartolina. Yung in charge sa Bartolina, ikaw yung tinanong ko nung previous hearing? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. Yes, okay. Now, may I ask the PNP first before I go to my main uh, topic? Why can't you not produce SPO4 Narsolis? Uh, Do you not know where he is? No, no, sir. For now, sir, I cannot. I have no idea for now, sir. I cannot answer you the question, sir. May I ask Comsec if the PNP was directed to see to it that uh, SPO4 Narsol is retired, will be able to uh, attain, uh, attend this uh, hearing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the PNP, na ibigay nyo ba yung invitation sa kanya? Uh, if I may, uh, Congressman Akop, uh, I was uh, advised by Colonel Kunanan that uh, uh, he assisted the committee secretariat in, ex in extending the invitation to Art Narsolis in several addresses. And uh, one of those addresses that uh, uh, they delivered the invitation, it was the son who received the invitation. And unfortunately, when they were asking for the contact number of Mr. Artner Solis, the son did not cooperate with the PNP. So uh, maybe in the next uh, hearing, uh, we will have to ask the PNP and the NBI to bring him to the committee because he has already been cited in contempt. Mr. Chair, there's a system in the Philippine National Police so that the PNP can be assured na yung mga retirees po ay buhay. Lahat po ng retirees may kabadi. In my case, ang kabadi ko po yung, yung security officer ko. And every three months, I think, kumukuha sa ng litrato kasama ko para masabi may hawak ako na jaryo o kaya kalendaryo para makita na buhay ako nung araw na yun. So, bakit nahihirapan ng PNP para hanapin siya when there is such a system for them to be able to locate SPO4 Narsolis? Uh, General Sandoval, uh, can you... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, based on our uh, coordination with PRBS, sir, uh, the subject personnel, sir, has already received only the lump sum but not yet receiving the pension. So, wala pa po daw siyang kabadi. Kailan po nag-retire si SP4 Narsolis? Anong... Uh, August uh, 2021, sir. 2021? Yes, sir. Uh, August. August. Hindi ba ang... I do not know if it is true now, pero ang lump sum mo, hindi ba three years lang? Would you know that? Yes, sir. Oh, hindi ba? Yes, sir. But the pension is not yet being received 
by the subject personnel, sir. Hindi pa ah, na, wala pa, sir. Hindi pa siya nagpe-pension. When would it start? Uh, on process pa lang, sir. I don't know how, how when will it start, sir. But Kailan? based on PRBS, sir, naka-process naman, sir, yung kanyang pension. Hindi yun ang punto ko, eh. Uh, sabi nyo, naglamsam. Pero I know for a fact, kung hindi pa nabago yung kuan, yung uh, sistema natin, ang pwede mo lang ilamsam ay three years. After which, you will receive your monthly pension. pension. Di po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. O kaya, hindi nyo lang alam kung paano siya hanapin. Uh, as explained naman, sir, na nahanap naman, sir, yung anak kanina, but uh, uncooperative, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, may request that the uh, Attorney Galicia of the NBI would take note of, uh, of what would be taken. Uh, After the numerous hearings of uh, uh, this uh, Quad Committee on uh, Extrajudicial Killing, nandito na, pa, nandito na po lahat yung major players ng conspiracy to commit murder doon po sa Davao Penal Colony. Ang absent na lang yung tao na hinahanap natin, SPO4 Arthur Narsolis, natauhan ni uh, Colonel Leonardo at naging tauhan din ni Colonel Garma. Would that be true? Colonel Leonardo and Colonel Garma? Uh, correct po, Mr. Chair. How about Colonel Garma? Yes, Mr. Chair. And up to the time that you were with PCSO, inassigned din ni Colonel Leonardo si SPO for Narsolis, sa PCSO. Would that be correct? Y yes, Mr. Chair. Correct po, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, si Colonel Leonardo ang nag-assign kay SPO for Narsolis na kasama niyo noon pa sa PCSO. Uh, I, I believe meron pong uh, order, uh, covered by orders, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Yeah, I know. Uh, Pares tayong galing serbisyo eh, kaya alam ko naman na may orders niyan. Ang sinasabi ko lang ay yung katotohanan na si SPO for Narsolis na kasama niyo pa noon pa ay na-assign sa PCSO. Under what conditions, I do not know whether it's in accordance with protocols of the PNP. Hindi ko alam yun. Na pwede i-assign ang isang polis sa civilian agency. So, I do not know how you did that. But be that as it may, nandito na po lahat ang kwan. Nandito yung superintendent ng penal colony. Nandito yung uh, tatlong PDL na narinig nyo na lahat yung testimony nila. Nandito na rin yung kasamahan ni Superintendent Padilla, si, uh, si Jail uh, Captain na ba, iho? Jail Captain Poro at saka yung in charge ng Bartolina. Kasi yung conspiracy to commit murder, sabi po nila ay nag-start nung pumunta si SPO for Narsolis at kontakin yung kaklase niya ng high school. Inamin ni uh, PDL uh, Tata Tan na kaklase niya sa high school at kinausap niya tungkol sa isang operation sa loob ng Davao Penal Colony. Yun po nangyari. Now, yung operation na yun na sinasabi involved the killing of three alleged Chinese drug lords who were detained inside the Davao Penal Colony. Una, dalawa pa lang na Chinese drug lord. Pero may itrinansfer na pangatlo from a different penal colony. Now, PDL Tata Tan contacted the PDL Andy Magdadaro to help him accomplish the plan. Nandun naman lahat sa affidavit nila, subscribe and sworn to. Now, this operation resulted to the killing of the three Chinese drug lords. How, di how did this happen? Uh, the killing of the three would not have been committed without the participation of officials and members of the Davao Penal Colony. 
and what were the acts of said officials. There was a statement by, by uh, PDL Tatatan na sinabi nila kay SP of Foreigner Solis na mahirap gawin na patayin yung tatlo simply because magkaiba ang lugar nila. Yung foreign nationals na nakakulong, eh nakakulong sa ibang lugar, yung mga locals na sa ibang lugar. So this information was relayed to SPO for Narsolis. Sabi ni SPO for Narsolis, ako nang bahala. Uh, what followed was Galugad operations. Tama, jail, jail Captain Poro. You Opo. conducted two Galugad operations. One, doon sa selda ni na uh, PDL sa Tata and Andy, and doon sa foreign nationals. Would that be correct? Opo, Your Honor. Correct. And according to your statement and answer to the questions, inamin mo na it was in accordance with the approval of your jail superintendent. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you, you stated or you answered that under oath? Yes. Opo, Your Tama. Honor. Opo. Okay. Now, sa galugad operation sa kinondak, dito sa dalawang PDL, local PDLs, ang nakita nyo ay empty shabu sa sheis. Opo, Your Honor. Empty shabu sa sheis. Opo. Walang shabu, kundi sa sheis lang. Tama? Opo, Your Honor. Yes. And uh, naggalugad din kayo, nagkontak kayo ng galugad operations doon sa foreign uh, nationals. Tama? Tama po, Your Honor. Ano po ang nakita nyo, ang nakuha nyo doon sa tatlong uh, foreign national PDLs? May mga cellphone, uh, pocket wifi, charger, pati po mga playing cards po, Your Honor. And because of these violations, according to you, uh, they were ordered to be placed in, Bartol in a Bartolina, Zelda number six. It, walang, ano po, Your Honor, uh, SOP kasi, Your Honor, pagka naka-violate ng prison rules, pwede na po ilagay kagad doon sa preventive cell. Pero ang nakalagay po doon, Your Honor, yung ship commander po. Tinuor po ko sa ship commander. Huwag ka nang umiwas, iyo. Opo. Kasi kahit na papaano, sasabit ka. Huwag ka nang umiwas. Iiwas ka pa eh. Di ba? Do not justify anymore, iho. Kasi nandun pa lang sa pagsasagot mo dito sa so, katanungan namin and your answers were all under oath. May sabit ka. Sinasabi ko na sa iyo. Now, also, during that time, according to the uh, one in charge of the Bartolinas, there were six Bartolinas there. Tama? Iho, yung in charge ng Bartolina? Sinagot mo sa akin noon, anim. Yes po, Your Honor. Tatlong malaki, tatlong maliit. Yes po, Your Honor. O, tama, yung sagot mo. Tapos, what is startling about your statements would be the fact na yung limang Bartolina, punong-puno, sobra na yung mga tao na nandun. That was your answer sa aking pagtatanong nung nandun ka na ko po. Yes po, Your Honor. O, so, punong-puno. Pero ang sinagot mo, doon sa selda number 6, dalawa lang ang nandun. Tama. At ang dalawang nandun ay si PDL Tata at saka si PDL Andy. Correct? Yes po, Your Honor. Ang tanong ko, bakit punong-puno yung lima na selda ng Bartolina? Eh bakit hindi nyo dinala doon sa selda number 6 na dadalawa lang ang nandun? Hindi mo masagot nun. Hindi. Ang sagot mo sa akin nun, if I remember it perfectly, hindi ka naka-duty. It's on record. Your Honor, hindi po ako naka-duty ng August 13th. Kaya nga, 13 yun ang po. sagot mo sa akin noon. Ang sagot mo, nung tinanong kita, bakit punong-puno yung limang selda, ay eh, doon sa pang-anim na selda, dadalawa lang andon, dapat rinansfer mo. Di ba? Kung wala kayong plano, eh dapat pinuno nyo yun. Pero in-reserve nyo yun 
para dun sa dalawa, kay Tata Andy at saka PDL uh, Tata. At dun nyo dadalhin din o dinala yung tatlong foreign PDLs kasama nung dalawa. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor. Pa ano ipapaliwanag mo, Iho? Wala pa naman akong ang tinatanong ko. Hindi ba ganun ang nangyari? Uh, ang pag-aassign pag po kasi Akala ng... Akala ko ba hindi ka duty para kaya hindi mo alam? Nung August 13 po ako, hindi duty, Your Honor. Nung Sabado. Kaya Sabado linggo man po ang kaya ang, ah, rest day eh, ko. Eh, huwag ka nang umiwas, Iho, at sabit ka rin. Sinasabi ko na sa iyo. Kasi yung mga circumstances would point to the fact na kaya ako nga tinanong nung araw na yon ilan ang Bartolina? Ang sagot mo, anim. Tatlong malaki, tatlong may, uh, maliit. At tinanong ko, ilan ang mga taong nandun? Sinasabi mo nga, sobra, punong-puno. Ang tanong ko sunod, bakit doon sa selda number six, dadalawa lang nandun, hindi nyo inilagay yung sobra doon? Kasi may plano kayo. Pwede po magpaliwanag, Your Honor? Hindi naman kita hinihinga ng paliwanag eh. Sorry po. Ang sinasabi ko, kung ano ang sinagot mo sa akin nung tinatanong kita. Hindi ba? Yes. Hindi ba katotohanan o nag, nagsisinungaling ba ako? Hindi po, Your Honor. O, totoo lahat yung sinabi ko. Yes Kasi po. Kasi yun ang sagot mo sa akin noon. Yes po, Your Honor. Di ba? So huwag ka nang umiwas. Kasi talagang kasama sa plano na sa selda number 6 ng Bartolina, doon dadalhin yung dalawang local local PDLs at saka yung tatlong kwan, uh, foreign uh, PDLs at doon sila pinatay. Di ba? Ang report ninyo, ano to? Naglaban sila. Yun ang report niyo. That's why they were charged for homicide. Pero hindi niyo alam, it worked against your favor because according to PDG uh, Director General Lasso, there is always a time for reckoning. I think the reckoning is now. <laughs> Correct. Mr. Chair, may I move that the NBI should conduct an investigation and get all the pieces of evidence and documents given to this committee so that they can file the necessary charges against those people who should be charged because of this uh, crime, Mr. Chair. So move, Mr. Chair. Second, there is a motion uh, to direct the NBI to conduct a thorough investigation on the death that uh, happened in the Davao Penal Colony and uh, it was duly seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the motion is carried. Uh, thank you, Congressman Ago. Uh, before that, uh, please allow the chair to ask uh, just very short questions. Uh, Colonel Leonardo, last uh, hearing, we asked you to submit your SALEN, and uh, you have submitted that to the committee. I have it here with me. And uh, dito sa ibong SALEN, uh, sinabit mo dito ay yung year 2021, ang iyong network ay lumalabas na 6.6 .6 million pesos. Is that correct? Correct, Mr. Chair. You have the copy of your SALEN there, no? Uh, wala, po ang wala po ang copy ang dalang. Uh, Comsec, can you provide him a copy of his uh, document that he submitted? Matanong ko lang, uh, is your wife uh, working? Does she work? Or anong, uh, what does your wife do? Uh, sabay lang po, Mr. Chair. Uh, so, siya housewife? Opo. No business? Uh, Ma, maliit na business ng po, Mr. Chair. Mm. Kasa, kasama niyo yung daughter ko. Uh, so, your daughter has a business? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Uh, pwede bang malaman ano yung business? Meron pong uh, car wash lang po, sir. 
Saan ito? Sa Manila? Sa Dabao po. Sa Dabao? Dabao. Okay. Pwede bang malaman ano ibig sabihin itong Sarleon Logistics? Nakalagay dito, uh, you were asked kung ano yung iyong business interest at saka ano yung financial connections mo. Ang nilagay mo rito are Sarleon Logistics in Dabao. Nature of business, interest and financial connection, personal. What is this Sarleon Logistics, uh, Colonel? At uh, tracking po nung araw yan, Mr. Chair, na... Na, ano po, na nalugi rin po, Mr. Chen, na nahinto po. Nahinto? Ang, ang nagba, ang nagba manage po niyan, yung anak ko rin po. Yung alin, yung? Yung anak ko rin po, yung, uh, yung anak ko po ang nagmamanage. Tracking uh, business po yan, uh, <coughs> naka-under uh, subcontract po sa LBC, yung pong nagde-deliver ng mga cargos po. Uh, so, nagde-deliver ng cargos sa... From the pier to the port? Uh, from the from port? LBC po. Uh, ah, LBC. LBC warehouse. Uh, ito door to door po namin. Ganun po. Ah, uh, okay. So, truck ito. Ilang pirasong truck ito? Ah, uh, mga, uh, meron pong, sa naalala ko lang po nung uh, panahon na yan, meron pong, uh, mga L300, uh, meron pong, ah, uh, uh, more or less po mga anim, Mr. Hindi po ako sure kasi hindi po akong nag-manage dahil ako po ay nasa, nagtatrabaho pa po nung araw. Pero, Family business nyo to? Uh, sort of, uh, Mr. Chair. Bakit uh, sort of? Uh, hindi 100% sa inyo? Kasi po yung misis ko nagbigay po ng uh, konting uh, puhunan din. Hindi lamang po solo ng anak ko nung mag-asawa siya, Mr. Chair. Uh, so, pero ito ay negosyo ng misis mo at ng anak mo? Uh, bali sa anak ko, kaya lang may share lang po itong aking... Si uh, misis. Uh, okay. Chair. Ilan ba anak mo, ano, Colonel? Uh, dalawa po. Okay, dito sa yung salen, yung uh, sinabmit mo on uh, ang date ay 2021, ang iyong net worth ay 6.6 million. Uh, can you confirm that? Opo, Mr. Chair. Okay. Pagdating naman ng 2022, ang net worth mo ay tumaas ng 8 million 8.100 million 150,000 pesos. Tumaas ka ng may get almost 2 million pesos. Tama po ba? Can you confirm that? Opo, Mr. Chair. Pwede bang matanong kung ano kaya ang dahilan? Ba't tumaas yung iyong uh, network? <coughs> Nad, uh, nadagdagan po kasi yung aking... Uh, ito pong uh, IT equipments po. Nadagdagan yung? Yung mga uh, gadgets, uh, cellphone, IT equipment, laptop po. Nadagdagan din po ako ng 2020 na ano po. Ayun din pala. Hindi naman tumaas yung... Yung kas. Yung kung ano yung dinagdag yung cast mo, <laughs> kung ano yung sinabi mo rito na iyong personal properties gaya ng IT equipment, laptop, cellphone, guns, firearms, uh, cash at uh, motorcycle, BMW, GS1250, furnitures and fixtures, eh hindi naman nagbago noong 2021 at saka noong 2022. Eh saan banda tumaas yan? Mr. Chair, uh... never, never mind. I'll just oh, give you a... Baka na mali lang po ng ano, Mr. Chair. Okay, Pero... sige. Baka nga. Baka nga na mali. Oh, That is po, uh, meron... 2021 at saka 2022. Pero itong 2023, yung 8.150 million mo ay naging 9.150 million. Eh, hindi naman siguro maring nagkamali ito. Uh, Kernel, kasi mula noong 2021... From 6.6 million to 2023, eh naging 9.150 million. So, meron kang increase. Halos taon-taon, tumataas ang iyong net worth. So, bibigyan kita ng panahon para makasagot ka sa committing ito. Sa susunod na hearing, ihanda mo lang ang iyong tanong kung bakit tumaas ang iyong net worth. 
Opo, Mr. Chair. Okay, sige. Secretary. Salamat. Pa. Now, uh, since uh, Congressman... Uh, 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 briefly, briefly uh, Congressman down. Fernandez. Uh, because uh, we have invited uh, Mr. Manuel uh, Mogato uh, from Reuters, no? Uh, the last time that uh, we have uh, invited him ay uh, during sa committee ng uh, uh, human rights. Unfortunately, Colonel Patay uh, is not around right now uh, because we remember in the last uh, hearing that we conducted, you mentioned about those... Um, uh, not petty crimes, but those uh, small crime that was committed in accordance with General Rodriguez, yung namatay na General, na nagsabi sa iyo, Hindi po Rodriguez, Your Honor. General Mendoza. Mendoza. Uh, mentioned, no, about doon sa mga killings that are being paid. Uh, 10,000, 20,000, mm -hmm. and uh, so forth. Uh, can you kindly uh, reconfirm, uh, Mr. Mogato, yung uh, tema ng uh, iyong, ano, ng iyong uh, report uh, during the time that you have interviewed Colonel Patay? But surely, in the next hearing, uh, Colonel Patay will be uh, uh, going to be here. Sige, go ahead, ano, uh, uh, Mr. Ma Mogato. Your Honors, uh, good evening po. No? Maraming salamat at uh, I was invited again. And... Uh, for the record, I just want to clarify that I'm not a member of Rise Up. <laughs> Kasi sa Comsec, member ako ng Rise Up. So I just want to clarify. Uh, ano po ako, journalist sa nang dati ng Reuters. <laughs> so ang ginawa po ng Reuters, uh, gumawa po siya ng maraming story, ah, at least 10 special reports from uh, April 2016 up to December 2017. Sampung uh, reports po yan, special reports about the drug war ni Pangulong Duterte. And uh, in the final report in December, we said that uh, the PNP has, uh, uh, at that time, si General Bato, ang PNP chief, has personally handpicked several policemen assigned in the Davao area, Davao region, including uh, Colonel Patay at that time, who was from Tagum, and assigned them in Station 6 in Quezon City, Sabatasan, and for several months that they were in Quezon City, naging uh, ground zero po ng EJK o ng drug war killings yung Quezon City uh, at more than 100 people were killed in do during those times. No? And uh, na-interview po si Colonel Patay nung kasama ko ni Andrew Marshall when he was already assigned in Pampanga as si IDG. No? Uh, hindi na po siya sa Quezon City. And uh, yung sa aming investigation, no, meron po silang social media accounts, ito mga member ng uh, Dawa Voice, ang tawag namin, na nagmamalaki sila na kung ang drug addiction daw o drug problem ng ating bansa, a eh, eh, disease, sila daw po ang cure. At uh, may isa pa lang sabi na ano bang special skills nyo, bakit doon nila sa... Quezon City, at sinasabi ng isa na ang special skills daw nila ay kill. No? So, lahat po nung ano, rec na, rec na records nung uh, at that time, uh, uh, nung 2016, eh, masyado pong mapait ang ating PNP sa mga reporters. Lahat po ng kanilang progress report, special report, uh, mga uh, ballistic report, autopsy report, ibinibigay po sa ating mga reporters. Kaya nakapag-compile po kami ng maraming reports galing sa pulisya all over Metro Manila. Lahat ng drug war killings. At uh, gumawa po kami ng report na minamap po namin kung saan nangyayari yung mga patayan at yun po, karamihan sa mga patayan na nangyari sa Kaloocan, sa Manila, 
sa Kamanaba at sa Quezon City. Sa Quezon City, ang pinakamaraming pangyayaring patayan ay doon po sa Station 6, kung saan si Colonel Pata yung uh, commander at that time. Uh, so, dahil po dyan, eh, yung aming report, eh, nakatawag ng pansin, uh, actually, your honors, hindi lang po ang Reuters ang gumagawa ng drug war stories. Lahat po ng media, local at foreign, ay eh, gumagawa po ng drug war stories. Pero kami lang po ang nagtsaga, magsulat mula umpisa hanggang dulo, para pakita na uh, sinasabi namin na ang mga pumapatay, pati yung sinasabi nilang riding in tandem at vigilante, ay pwedeng pulis din po ang Not, gumagawa. In, the, in other words, Mr. Mugato, you were saying that uh, you have a direct uh, communication with the different station commanders all over the, uh, all over the uh, NCR during that time? Nung simula Dahil, po. Nung... Meron kayong parang uh, text group? Ay, wala pong text group kasi binibigay po nila yung report eh, ah, yung so, kopya. So, so in other words, lahat ng mga uh, Nung una po, from, from July 2016 hanggang December 2016, napakabait po ng ating mga polis at uh, sinishare po nila lahat ng data. Kasi pag may patayan po sa gabi, sumasama po yung mga reporter, hindi lang po Reuters, ano? lahat po ng mga ano, photographers at reporters, sumasama po sa mga puneralya na may pick up ng patay. So, hindi lang po yung namatay sa nanlaban, pati yung mga itinatapon sa mga vacant lots, no? so, kailan yung mga na? may masking tape, may, may mga karatula. So, kailan siya natigil? Uh, sila, kailan sila nagigpet sa mga reporters on not uh, relating anymore those uh, reported killings? Pagdating po ng Abril 2017, nung mag-file po ng kaso si Senator Trillanes sa ICC, eh nagsara na po ang gripo ng uh, ating PNP. Wala na po silang binibigay na report sa amin. Pati po yung pamilya ng uh, mga biktima ay hindi na rin binibigyan ng report. Pero sino yung nagsabi sa inyo, uh, Mr. Mogato, na ang presyo po doon sa mga personalidad na papatayin, nagre-range from 20,000 to 60,000. Kasi you were saying before, di ba? Meron kayong sinasabi na sinabi sa inyo ni uh, General Mendoza. Or... Si, si General Mendoza po kasi uh -huh. bumawa siya ng isang special report on EJK na sinabit niya po sa CBCP at that time. Ang alam ko ang pinagbigay niya ng kopya ay si Father Intengan. Uh, si Archie, si uh -huh. Father Archie Antenga ng Ateneo? Opo. Kasi But, doon po kami naging meeting sa opisina ni uh, Father Archie sa Ateneo. Doon po yes. namin ini-interview si General Mendoza. So doon po na, uh, so binibigay po niya yung nabigay niya sa amin report. At sa report niya may, may reward list nagsisimula po sa 10,000 pesos sa ordinaring drug uh, user or courier or street peddler so 10,000 po pagka medyo may uh, posisyon barangay captain o mayor ay eh, tumataas po yung presyo magkano pag mayor po ang alam ko parang 50,000 po pag congressman ay wala po eh wala naman na wala, wala ko po naman alam ko may na member na ng congress na involved <laughs> anyway um Meron din po kayo sinabi na active pa yung isang uh, PNP ngayon na nandito po sa loob ng ating pong PNP organization. Pero uh, during that time, you were not able to reveal it, correct? Opo, kasi meron po kaming pangako do sa police officer na hindi po namin siya bibigay identity. Kasi alam, alam niyo po yung mga reporters po, kami mga journalists ay... Eh, nabubuhay sa trust ng aming mga yeah. sources. So, ayaw po namin silahin yun. Yung, yung active officer po na yun, ay eh, ibinigay po sa amin ni General. Kasi nasa, nalaman po ng mga editors ko na uh, hearsay lang po yung report ni General. Kasi hindi po siya yung actual na nakaalam. 
nung Oplan Double Barrel at nung uh, Kalakaran o nung Reward List. Kaya sabi namin, kung pwede mo kaming ipakilala dun sa iyong source na mismong nakaalam nung Kalakaran. Kaya isinama po niya sa isang meeting sa isang restaurant sa Green Hills itong active duty na uh, PNP officer para ikwendo sa amin yung Kalakaran. Pati yung uh, sinasabi ng polis na kasi nga, nung unang panahon, eh, pagka nagkakaroon ng nanlaban, hindi lahat namamatay. May tumatayo. No? Kung maalala nyo, sa, may pinakita kayong video yung kay Murillo na, na nabuhay siya. No? So, because of that, nag-meeting uli yung mga PNP at sinabing, huwag nyo nang buhayin yung mga uh, suspects. So, meron po kaming story na ginawa yung dead on arrival. Kasi nga po, pinapatay na yung mga drug drug war victim bago pa dumating na ospital. At paano po namin nalaman na pinapatay? Kasi so, uh, autops, sa autopsy report, lumalabas na yung mga tao po ay binarel ng mga lapitan. Paano po malaman na binarel ng mga lapitan? Kasi meron pong tatuwing sa katawan at sa ulo yung mga biktima. Kasi kung nagkaroon po ng encounter o labanan, wala po yung tatuwing kasi malayo eh. No? Wala, yung, wala pong gunpowder gun burns dun sa katawan nung namamatay. Ito po, sabi ng doktor, malapit. No? Kasi nga may tatawing. At pati yung trajectory ng bullets, hindi nagsasuggest na may encounter. So talagang tinutuloy na po yung mga ilang drug war, ah, drug war victims para hindi na mabuhay at tumayo. Kasi maraming insidente na tumatayo yung kanilang nabaril pag dumarating na yung soko para mag-imbisiga. Okay, Mr. Chairman, kasi uh, we have uh, already uh, somehow established yung uh, killings doon sa correctional. And uh, this time, uh, this is uh, something that uh, we have to focus as well. Uh, dahil marami po yung mga biktima na namatayan. According sa kanina kay uh, uh, Dr. Uh, ay kay uh, Mr. Uh, Jokno, uh, more than uh, at least... Uh, Uh, a little bit of uh, 20,000 no? uh, ang uh, naging biktima po nitong uh, uh, Dragon War. And uh, basically, ano, uh, Mr. Mugato, we will be inviting you over again no? kapag andito na po si Colonel Patay. And I hope that uh, Colonel Patay will uh, somehow um, have a change of heart no? and uh, uh, reveal everything in this uh, uh, quadcom for us to uh, really um, uh, see and uh, peret talaga yung katotohanan. No? And uh, kay ano naman po, kay uh, Ma'am uh, Garma, uh, can we uh, also requ require you to submit your uh, salen during your incumbency as a uh, uh, GM of the uh, PCSO? Can we uh, expect to uh, submit that to us in the next hearing? Yes, so thank you. And uh, also, uh, <clears throat> uh, sa ano natin, sa PNP, Uh, I think uh, Colonel Villela is still active, ano? Nasa krami po ba si Villela? Uh, uh, yes, Sir Honor. Uh, krami pa daw. What, what, ano, what ano po siya? Directorate? DI, uh, DI, uh, uh, DITCM ba siya? Uh, ITMS. ITMS, Sir. ITMS. Yes, okay, sir. so uh, please, uh, his presence is uh, required in the next uh, hearing. Yes, Sir Honor. Okay. Uh, siguro for now, uh, Mr. Chairman, yun lang po muna. And, uh, naging pulis at attache, attache, attache ba siya sa New York? Uh, sa Washington daw, sir. Ha? Washington. Washington. Naging sa Washington. Sa Washington. Naging, uh, how many years siya naging uh, pulis attache sa Washington? Uh, I don't know the exact, maybe two to three years. Maybe. Tatlong taon siya. Maybe, sir. Hindi ako sure, Nag sir. stay sa Washington. Yes, sir. All right. That's the reason why. Mr. Chair. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, Meron lang po akong katanungan kay Attorney Conti, kung maaari. Please proceed. Okay. Uh, Attorney Conti, uh, we have received uh, the uh, data for the Committee on Human Rights from... Uh, Police Brigadier General Matthew Bakay, no? Uh, nakalagay po dito lahat ng mga suspect 
lahat ng mga napatay na tinawag nilang uh, died no? instead of killed. Uh, dito po ay nakalagay din ang cases ng marami sa kanila nagsimula kay Kian De Los Santos case. Ano? And Kian, De, Kian Lloyd De Los Santos nakalagay po dito 17 years old May 26, 2000 yata pinanganak, date of birth, grade 11 student, taga Caloocan City, at nakalagay din dito yung tatlong suspect, no? Uh, may I know, uh, if you are aware of this, if you know about this? Uh, I am aware, Your Honor, uh, because of the publicity surrounding the case and although we are not the handling lawyers in this case your honor there already has been a conviction of uh, some police officers but the conviction is uh, a homicide conviction yes your honor yan po yung problema natin laging not a napatay mur not a murder conviction yes your honor ang problema napatay hindi pinatay uh, mr chair i would like just to manifest here that all of those suspects the police suspects uh, were actually charged with homicide, not murder. Kahit na po ang mga suspect ay hindi po ng laban at walang baril. Yet, uh, to show that the Philippine National Police is actually doing their job, sila mismo ang nag-file ng charge, pero ang charge po ay instead of murder, homicide. Alam po naman natin, ang homicide, eh, ilang taon lang yan, Attorney Conti, no? Two, eight years? Two years. Eight po. Ah? Eight. Eight years. And do they, ano, do they, uh, uh, do they give uh, a certain amount of money to the victims, for example? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, if the court deems uh, civil damages... As due the victims, then okay. there could be civil damages up who, to who are, 100, Who are the, uh, the suspects here that are actually your cases? Uh, Your Honor, I don't have a copy of the list of uh, given by uh, yeah, I will show Officer you a Bacan. copy of this. So yes. you'd, you'd but be... if I may raise, Your Honor, at the previous hearings, we mentioned that the case that we directly handled was the one against... Virgilio Cervantes et al., the most recent conviction of four police officers for homicide in Caloocan, Your Honor, a killing that occurred in September 2016 of a father and son. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I request at the next hearing we have with the EJK that we also invite the uh, uh, loved ones of the victims of uh, uh, supposedly supposedly suspects, but they're not actually suspects. Ibig sabihin, we just do not want to uh, investigate here in this committee those that were killed who are actually drug lords, but those who were killed by the Philippine National Police uh, uh, officers that were actually of mistaken identity, and those who were not even drug addicts. Now, uh, of course, uh, uh, the Philippine National Police sent us a data also that there were 440 drug addicts that were killed when they should not have been killed. They should have been rehabilitated, uh, Mr. Chair. I hope that next uh, 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 key hearing you have with the AJK that we are going to invite uh, the loved ones of the victims of which Attorney Conti and uh, uh, the uh, uh, yung Ano pong organization nyo? Rise Up for Life and for Rise, Rise, Rise Up for Life will give to us, no? So the people also will be able to know and be able to see uh, that uh, the AJK was not only done among those that are actually drug pushers, but even those that are, are quite innocent, innocent, which uh, according to... Uh, the former director general, they were collateral damage. Just imagine, no? A lot of killings were called collateral damage, uh, Mr. Chair, of which uh, this representation 
does not actually agree. Now, Mr. Chair, I also would like to ask uh, to, to, to please make a manifestation here and perhaps a query to uh, uh, Colonel Leonardo. Colonel Leonardo, eh, nakita na tayo. I think you were assigned in Manila, correct? Even in my own district yata. Correct po, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay. Now, uh, Congressman uh, Romy Akop already uh, uh, related the connection between you and SPO for Nersolis. Uh, uh, and then, we also established the connection a while ago of uh, Colonel Garma and Art Nersolis. So, ibig sabihin, Colonel uh, Leonardo and uh, a Colonel Garma, kayo, eh, kilala kayo investigator sapagkat na-involve ko sa CIDG. Yung mga connection ninyo, eh, nagkakatagpo doon sa uh, sa laysay ng ating ni, Major, ni former Major Portesa, ni uh, Tata, ni, uh, uh, kong, uh, ni uh, Colonel Padilla, oo, ay nakakapagtaka naman na itinatanggi pa ni Colonel Garma ang uh, kanyang involvement dito. Hindi lang may yan, Mr. Chair. We would like also to reiterate the fact that there, that there was indeed a reward system uh, that was even said by Mr. Mogato and even said by Colonel uh, Jovi Espinido no? uh, during our last hearing. And that reward system is more uh, emphasized when even inside the double penal colony, Mr. Chair, that uh, the PDL, Tata, and uh, si na isa? Si, ano yung pangalan ni, no? Si Andy, Tata and Andy, received 1 million pesos each when they should have received 3 million each for killing those three Chinese uh, uh, PDL. Am I right, Tata? Nakatanggap kayo yung tigi isang million? Oo. Opo, Your Honor. And they were saying in their own affidavit that uh, the one who offered them those one million uh, from Art Narsolis was actually, uh, according to their, their affidavit, was uh, given uh, from uh, Colonel Garma, I would think. Di ba? na na find out natin sa mga salaysay ninyo. You see that? Of course, Colonel Garma would of deny that, di ba? Oo, pero ito eh, I just would like to establish the connection. The fact is this, Art Narsolis is related to Colonel Garma, Art Narsolis is personally known to Colonel Leonardo, Art Narsolis is the classmate of Tata, uh, may, uh, Colonel Garma, is the classmate of Major Laportesa. There is a real connection here. And so, napakahirap mga paniwalaan ang kasinangulingan na nangyayari dito. Mr. Chair, yun lamang. And I would like to thank uh, the Rise Up for, uh, and, and, and uh, Reverend uh, uh, here, and of course, uh, Attorney Conti. Kanina si Attorney Chel Joknover was here, no? Salamat po sa pagpunta ninyo. And uh, your presence here is quite important to us. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Abante. Yeah, we asked the uh, Attorney Conti of the National Union of People's Lawyers, lawyer, and uh, Rise Up for Life and for Rights. We asked Mr. Mon uh, Mo Manuel Mugato. And uh, now we'd like to uh, ask uh, Attorney Joel Butuyan, a member of the Center for International Law or Center Law, for his uh, uh, statement. Uh, please uh, give us your short statement, uh, Attorney Butuyan. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, um, we, we commend this committee for um, the investigation that it is doing because um, Hello. The evidence that is being unearthed um, from this investigation is very crucial, it's pivotal, and it's key to the ongoing ICC investigation, Your Honor. 
I have no doubt, Your Honor, that um, if the evidence that's being unearthed in this investigation reaches the ICC, it will hasten the issuance of warrants of arrest, Your Honor. Um, that's why I'm asking, Your Honor, if, if it's possible for um, even just the resource persons to have access to the minutes of um, the proceedings, as well as the um, sworn statements um, that have been submitted as part of the investigation, Your Honor, if that's possible, Your Honor. Um, Attorney Butuyan, uh, the committee uh, has uh, been asked several times whether the transcript, the TSN, can be used or can be accessed by anyone for the use of ICC. Uh, we are not uh, in any way are going to provide data or transcript of records to the ICC because we stand by the statement of our president that we do not, uh, we are not member of the ICC. However, since this public hearing have been openly accessed by the public in all social media platforms, you can probably access that through the different platforms available. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. By the way, uh, Attorney Butuyan is a law partner, former law partner of Attorney Harry Roque, correct? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Um, is it former Mr. Chair or still present? Not anymore, huh? We parted ways in 2017, Your Honor. Because Attorney Roque is no longer a human rights lawyer. Yes, Your Honor. We uh, parted he is now a political lawyer. We parted ways in 2017, Your Honor. They parted ways in 2017, according to Attorney Butuyan. Thank you, Attorney. Mr. Chair? Uh, yes, Attorney if, Conti. Yes, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, but if I may be allowed, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity again, and you may rely on our continued participation in these proceedings. But we'd also like to invoke the memory of several of the victims. Um, in Cebu, Your Honor, one of the volunteers of Rise Up for Life and for Rights was actually killed. Mr. Chair, killed I, may I request August. Attorney Conti to perhaps mention the names of yes, those? Yes, Your Honor. 